All right. Now, before I bring up the man we all came to see, I got a very special guest coming to the stage who was uh, uh, requested by DL to do some time. So you know this young lady's got to be very funny. She's a finalist in Nickelodeon Funniest Mom in America contest. Just came back from the Boston Comedy Festival. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see some applause now for a lady. Give it up for Miss Pat. Let her hear it. I'm a single lady. How y'all doing? Oh, nice crowd. Give it up for Keith. I'm originally from Atlanta, but now I live out in Plainfield, Indiana. <laughs> y'all black folks seem to find that pretty funny. Me too. Because three days after I moved in, my neighbor knocked on my door. Scared the hell out of me. I opened the door and this white lady standing there saying, uh, I know it's depressing moving from one state to another one, so I baked you a cake. I'm like, for real, bitch? Cause where I'm from, you don't knock on people's door unless you want a bar or something. So I did the neighborly thing and I accepted the cake and I called my girlfriend back in the line. I'm like, girlfriend, you ain't gonna believe this. She was like, what girl, they trying to kill you? I was like, no, my neighbor baked me a cake. Should I eat it? She said, yeah, girl, go eat that cake. White women's always bake you cakes and cookies when you move in so you don't break in their house. <laughs> Y'all some cake baking half for white women. <laughs> and black people, they didn't stop there either. Each day when I got home from work, they kept leaving me cakes and cookies at my door. So finally, I put a note on the door. Look at here, white people. We have diabetes. The next day I get home, there's a note back on my door that say, we know. <laughs> like, dang, did they see a sister take a pill? And my kids love living in Plainfield too. My daughter come home the other day to my mommy, mommy. I'm like, what, sweetheart? To my mommy, did you know that statistic says that the average black woman has at least two baby daddies? I'm like, who in the hell is statistics? And why is this heifer telling you all my damn business? <laughs> Get your chunky butt out of here. I'm still looking for your daddy. <laughs> Any of y'all have little fat kids at home with a full set of titties and no nipples? Come on, I seen some of you when you came in here. <laughs> my, daughter is, my daughter is actually fat as hell, y'all, but she didn't get it from me. <laughs> I'm thick. And she's picky. I took out the Burger King the other day. We pull up in the Burger King, and I'm like, what do you want, sweetheart? To my, uh, uh. And I don't know why little fat kids always say, uh, when they know they eat every damn thing on the menu. I'm like, what do you want? To my, I'll take a double Whopper combo. I'm like, hell no, you six years old. <laughs> to my, we're gonna give me two of them kids' meals. <laughs> hey, can you substitute one of them toys for another fry? Damn, you greedy. <laughs> and she liked to talk too, y'all. She come in my room the other night to my mommy, I have hair down there. And I'm like, sweetheart, you don't have any hair down there. You only six years old. To my, yes, I do. I pulled her panties back. She had Oreo cookie crumbs in her drawer. <laughs> I said, if you don't get your chunky butt out of here, and you better not eat them either. She gonna tell me I can't, we ain't got no milk. <laughs> you can laugh, she ain't here. <laughs> I have older kids too. I have a daughter back in Atlanta that's 22. A Couple of weeks ago I was going home and I said, you know when I get there baby we're gonna go out to eat, you know whatever you wanna eat, we're gonna have a good time. But you know the economy messed up. So when I got home I was like, you know I don't have enough money, let's just go to the Waffle House. She will have a nerve to say, I don't want no Waffle House. I want Joe's Crab Shack. I'm like, let's just go to the Waffle House. No, I want Joe's Crab Shack. So I was like, look at here, sweetheart. Get your crabs the way I got mine. 
from your daddy. I lost her mind. And then she ever nerd somebody, you a mean mama. You so mean, I can't wait to put you in the old folks home. I said, Helpful, we 10 years apart. <laughs> we gonna be in the old folks home together. And you still gonna do what I tell you to do. Lift my titties. Wipe my high. Lost your mind. I had my kids real young too. Any ladies, any of y'all had y'all kids around fifth or sixth grade? <laughs> Black women holding their heads down. <laughs> White women like, I got rid of them. <laughs> oh, these are just jokes. You know I'm telling the truth. That's all I tell is the truth. I'm a black woman. <laughs> I had my kids real young, around junior high. My teacher come up to me one day, tell me, look at you, just look at you, 13 and pregnant. I'm like, hell, look at you, pregnant, not married. She goes to my, oh, you married? I was like, no, but he is. <laughs> Better get you one a thing called husband. And ladies, when I first had my first baby, I didn't know anything about having kids. That I actually thought that when you carried a baby nine months, and after you give birth, that the month kept going. So my girlfriend come on and say, Pat, how old is the baby? I'm like, 12 months. She said, girl, this baby ain't no 12 months. I'm like, for real? I done baked the first birthday cake and everything. I been here whooping his ass. Hold your head up. Say your ABCs. You know I think you're retarded. But I overcame all of that. Look at me now. I'm married. I'm, ain't, ain't y'all married? Been married 16 years. Ladies, take care of your men. Especially black men, y'all don't like going to the doctor. I just recently took my husband to the doctor. The doctor come in and say, sir, you have diabetes. My husband gonna turn around and look at me like it's my fault. <laughs> I'm like, hell, I'm fat too. <laughs> Tell me, I told you something was wrong with me. I told you something was messing up my sex drive. I'm thinking like, hell, you must have had diabetes three years ago. <laughs> and my husband don't do nothing. He's bored. He just go to work and come home. And But you know, I'm always, I, I told him the other day, I said, won't you go out and have an affair so we can have some excitement in our relationship? <laughs> so I'm always snooping through his stuff. I, I come upon his phone the other day. I'm looking through his phone. I find this chick named KK. And I'm thinking after 16 years, four kids and two abortions, I know he ain't cheating on me. So I called this chick, the phone ring two times, y'all, lady pick up the phone. Thank you for calling Krispy Kreme. <laughs> like he is cheating on me with some donuts. That's why your fat ass got diabetes. Thank y'all so much, I'm Miss Pat. Keep it going for your special guest set, Miss Pat, ladies and gentlemen.